What's up, guys? Hey, Steve here with Scotch and Things. Uh, uh, I wanted to show you a new knife, the ZT0308. I picked it up um, from my local knife shop on my way to my brother's, so that's why you're seeing a different background here. But uh, this knife came out about a year ago, so I'm kind of late to the party on it. Um, when it first came out, uh, I was intrigued by it. I thought it looked cool, and I thought it was ZT getting back to their roots. Um, just wasn't a fan of the color. And then, just recently, they announced new for 2021 was a new version of this. Um, black with a tiger stripe blade and black on the backside. And I was, I was psyched. I was going to get that. But then, I started looking, and this is the same kind of texturing that the old 300 series had. And I noticed that when the black starts to wear off on this titanium side that uh you know it just looked kind of you know black and silver and I, I just didn't really like the look so i thought oh you know i'm gonna go ahead and get the the coyote version um and i can either do a scale swap or dye it uh, a different color if i want to but actually once i got it in hand i really like the coyote i think it looks nice it's a nice looking knife um here you go 0308 G10 Coyote. Um, yeah, this is an interesting knife. Uh, it's ZT, you know, has had that reputation forever as overbuilt, you know, just beast tank knives that are, are great working knives. And they've kind of gotten away from that um, here recently. And they do a lot. It's just become a lot more EDC friendly knives. So when this came out, I thought, okay. All right, we'll give it a look. Um, and, man, I tell you, this is a special knife, guys. It feels great in hand. Um, the action on it is just amazing. Look at that. I mean, the flipper tab is super easy to, to use. And just drop shut action. It's so smooth. It's running on their KVT, KVT ball bearing system. Um, just a super heavy duty pivot that you know, so you can see these flat spots here. You can use, you don't need any special tools, just a half inch wrench to, um, to take it down, to take it apart. Um, so that's pretty cool. I mean, the centering is perfect on it. Uh, let's see the, this, this pattern, this texturing, um, kind of goes back to the old 300 series. Uh, except the texturing goes this way on those knives, where this goes this way. But it's that same same texturing that they used. So this, in that 300 lineage, um, just kind of calls back to that. And let me tell you, I mean, I just can't say enough about this knife. Um, here you see here, it's in 20 CV. Your serial number is here. And then this little logo here, the Star Wars looking thing, that means that this is an in-house design. So ZT, uh, if they design something in-house, the blade will have that logo on it. And if not, then it'll have, usually up here somewhere, it has the name of the designer. Um, I mean, oh, the noise. I mean, it's just so mechanical sounding, just chunky, and it just makes great noises. I mean, do you hear that? I mean, listen, it's just very, very mechanical sounding um, and smooth as all get out. One thing that people, <laughs> excuse me, have complained about is, see this hole here? And everybody goes this, so you can see through this. I don't know why it's there. Aesthetically, it looks okay, but in reality... And everybody has brought this up that's that's reviewed this knife. It's a direct path right to the bearings. So this being meant to be like a heavy, hard-use knife, um, if, if you're just EDC carrying this in your pocket, are you going to get pocket lint in there? Probably. But in like a work environment, dust and dirt and stuff like that, how is that going to hold up? I don't know. We'll see how it holds up over time and I'll let you guys know. But just think, I mean, 
if you're like me and you're outdoors working on something and you're cutting something, how often do you, you cut something and you still need your knife and you just set it down in the ground and the dirt, which I've done before. Um, so is dirt going to get in there? Uh, being on a job site, um, how many of you, like I have, have dropped your knife in the dirt, in the sand, in the grit, in the mud? Uh, I think if you drop this thing in the mud, that's going to be a real problem. Um, I don't know, is it easy access then to maybe spray it out with some compressed air and then just shoot some more grease in there, uh, some more pivot lube? If it if it starts running funky, I don't know. We'll have to see over time how this this holds up. You know how all these videos go. Um, I do the unboxing and give you my first initial impressions on the knife. And then what I will do is, uh, I don't know if it's going to go in right now, but it, eventually it'll go into my carry rotation where I carry this knife for a month and then come back and do like a month-long review on it and how it is to carry. Um I've got some other knives, like I say, in every video in the rotation, maybe in front of it. Maybe I'll bump some of those and get this in faster. Um, oh, we'll see. We'll see how it holds up, how this pivot holds up over time, how that hole in the pivot holds up. Um, a lot of guys mentioned, like, was it done for lightning, like to lighten it up? They complain that it's, uh, it's, it is a heavy knife. I don't know if you can see. On the titanium side, there's no milling, but on this liner side... You can kind of see that the, the liner is milled out for weight savings. And I don't care how heavy a knife is, honestly. Um, I like heavier knives, and this thing's got some weight to it. But just out of just playing with it, I mean, it's, you know, the G10 and this side, it's contoured. It fits really nicely in the hand. You know, your thumb just lands right on that jimping. It's not super aggressive, but it's just there enough to... To give you some purchase you can get a great grip on it um and it's it's really a comfortable knife to hold i mean just this big old giant blade out here and uh i really enjoy it um the pocket clip it's not <clears throat> excuse me not deep carry or anything and they do mention like even zt has said like this pattern here will fit many aftermarket part uh, pocket clips if you want to. Um, I don't mind it. We'll see if I change it out. Uh, we'll see after I carry it um, if I like it or not. But I mean, the overall design, it's just a cool knife, guys. Um, you know, and you can you can put the pocket clip on this side. On the older versions, you could go tip up, tip down, left, right, whatever. This is just left or right side. Uh, you know, the, the flipper tab, it's nice, it's minimal, it doesn't stick up a ton, and it's it's just super easy to fire. And like I said, you you really, if you haven't held one of these knives and you're thinking about it, I mean, try and get your hands on one, because honestly, it is, it's just such a satisfying knife to play with. Um, the action, I can't tell you how nice the action is. Um, it's just super smooth. And super, and, you know, and the blade weighs a lot, so that helps with the drop shot action. Um, but it's just a combination of looks, the feel, the the smoothness of the action, and the noises it makes. Um, just really, I'm excited about this knife. Uh, I, I really, really like it. So we'll see. We'll carry it for a month and, and see how it does, see how I like it. I don't know if I'll take this on the job site or not. Just because I am kind of worried about, you know, about that getting really gunked up. I mean, that could be a flaw. I don't know why. they. I've never really seen any explanation from ZT why they put that there. Um, it's just kind of a design that they've been going to lately. You see that a lot in a lot of their knives. I had the 0707, and that had that, and I that knife was a real bummer for me, so... We can, we'll talk about that at a later date, but I don't know, guys. You know, ZT doesn't come out with a lot of big knives lately, but when they do, they seem to knock it out of the park. This is just a really cool knife. It looks good. It feels good. And these are just my first thoughts and impressions. Just want to show you guys. I mean, black standoffs. 
like I said, that tiger stripe blade would be pretty cool. Back to their old, their old days when they did the tiger striping, and they did a little bit different on that new one. But I don't know. I'm happy I got this this version. I, I like it now a lot more than I did just looking at pictures online. When I saw it in person, you know, the coyote color really pops. We'll see. You know, I thought about dyeing it black. Uh, I think that would be cool too. But right now, I think I'm just going to run it stock. But the ZT0308, what do you guys think about it? Do you have one? Have you felt it? What do you, you know, let me know. What, what are your thoughts on it? Just wanted to show it to you guys real quick. Uh, I'm excited to start carrying it. Uh, maybe I'll start today. But uh, comment down below. Like, share, subscribe. Are you glad to see ZT getting back to their roots and putting out something like this every once in a while? Um, do you mind that they only make knives like this every so often and everything else seems to be kind of EDC, more geared towards, you know, uh, smaller EDC carry? Um, I don't know. I just think they've done a really good job with this knife. Everything about it, I like. Uh, except for the, I mean, like, that doesn't bother me. Only the fact that I know if, I sit this down in the ground or I'm in a dirty working environment that you're going to get some gunk in there. So uh, we'll see. We will see how that hole near the pivot affects it. But I wanted to show you guys because I, I really, really just like the design of this. And, you know, it is really big. It's really big. But once you get it in hand, it just fits. I mean, it's so comfortable. There's no... I mean, you can bury down and there's, I mean, the pocket clip doesn't give you a hot spot. There's no, you know, there's no part of the knife that's uncomfortable. So there you go, guys. The ZT0308. First look, first impressions. Let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.